Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. And today we are going to be making homemade English muffins. Yes, and you won't even need an oven. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes the easy and simple way, subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos and tap that bell so you'll always be notified. We're going to get started right now. Okay guys, we're going to get started. We have here our yogurt and we have self-rising flour. Just two ingredients, that's all you need. First, we're going to put our yogurt. This is just plain yogurt, no extra sugar or any flavoring added to it. You can use Greek yogurt if you like. I just like to use the regular plain yogurt. So first thing we're going to do is temper this by microwaving it for just a second or two. Okay, that's done. Now just give it a quick stir. Then we're going to sift in our flour. You can use a sifter or you can just use a, a mesh strainer. Just sift it through. Make sure there's no lumps and clumps in there. Okay, got that all done. After that, guys, we're going to go ahead and give it a good stir. Start to stir it up. Make sure your yogurt is mixed in well with your flour. We'll start mixing it at first with a spoon, ending up using our hands. Okay, just make sure that it's combined. Don't stir it too roughly. You don't want to over mix it. It should start coming together. As you can see, it's coming together quite nicely. So just mix it with the spoon until it comes pretty much together. Then after that, we're going to set our spoon aside and use our hands. Let me take my ring off so I won't have to worry about cleaning it later. Okay, so now we're going to get in here and we're going to finish mixing it with our hands and then we'll knead it. You just want to keep mixing it until it forms a soft ball. Okay, now we're going to put a little flour onto our countertop so that the dough will not stick to the counter. Again, this is just some all-purpose flour that we're putting down. You want to make sure it doesn't get all stuck to your counter and just dump it out. Okay, now from here guys, we're just going to knead it. You don't want to knead it too roughly. You want to use soft fingers to knead it with so that it won't get tough. If you knead it too tough, it will be tough dough. So you want to be gentle while you're kneading it. You might need to add a little extra flour because your fingers will get sticky. Okay, just continue to knead it until you have a nice soft dough ball. Then we're going to form it into a cylinder and slice it from there. Okay, so get it nice, formed into a log, and then from there we're going to slice it first in half, and then we're going to slice it so that we'll have six total uh, biscuits, or six total English muffin slices. Okay guys, so I'm going to take my little cutter here, and we first we're going to slice it down the middle so that we'll make sure we have two equal halves, and then each half will get cut into thirds. This is going to be our actual English muffins. We'll have six. So just go ahead and cut them as evenly as possible. Then you want to take the dough and form it into a circle. Form each of the little slices that you just made into a circle. You may need extra flour because again, the dough will be slightly sticky, but that's what you want, okay? going to form each one and after we get them all formed into balls guys then we're going to flatten them out 
and let them rest for about five or 10 minutes. Just let them sit there right there where they are on your floured surface and rest. And guys, when you get ready to let them rest, make sure that each muffin is sitting on top of flour so that as they rest, they won't stick to your countertop or whatever surface that you happen to be using. Okay, so I think we're just about done here with getting our circles made. We'll wrap this up right quick. Now you just want to take your fingers, make sure each one is on a floured part of your surface and just flatten them gently so they won't be circles but they'll be flat going into the size and shape of your English muffins. After this guys, we'll be ready to head over to the stove. Okay. And as you're forming them, make sure they're in as much of a circle as you can possibly get. Okay, let's get to the stove now. All right, guys, we need to have our skillet on low. And I'm going to actually be doing this in two different skillets. Uh, my cast iron skillet and a stainless steel skillet. I'm just going to want you to let you see how they do in both. They pretty much turn out the same, but it takes much longer in the um, cast iron skillet than it does in the stainless steel skillet because the cast iron skillet is much thicker and you absolutely must cook these on low heat. So I've been letting my skillet over here heat up for a while because it is cast iron. It takes a while to heat up as well even on low or I should say especially on low. Okay so I've got about a half a tablespoon of olive oil in here and I'm spreading it all around including the sides. Give it a good coating. Then we're just going to lay each one of our muffins down, not touching, but we're going to put each one down side by side. Then guys, we're going to cover our skillet completely with the top and let them cook for about 10 minutes. Then we'll flip them over. You must keep them on low. That's crucial. They must be on low. Okay, and I've already got my stainless steel skillet going over there. So we're going to get these covered up real good and I'll take you over to the stainless steel section. Okay, so these have already been cooking as you see. They're coming along quite nicely. And I've done both sides and so I'm going to go ahead and let these uh, get covered and do the second side of the stainless steel and the cast iron is still on the first side. So now the, the ones in the stainless steel skillet, they're done. And the other ones in the cast iron skillet have only cooked on one side. So you can see the difference in the time. So if you have a stainless steel skillet, they will be much quicker. I just happen to like using my cast iron. Okay, so now we're going to get these over here in the cast iron skillet flipped over and let them cook on the second side for about 10 minutes as well. Don't forget to cover your skillet while they're cooking until it becomes rest time. Then you're actually letting them dry out and that's what the ones in the stainless steel skillet are doing now. They're actually drying out. Okay guys, let's flip these over on the other side so that the other side can become dry as well. 
All right, looking good, looking good. Yes, okay. Now we've got the ones over here in the cast iron skillet cooked on both sides and it is time to let them dry. All right, awesome, awesome, yes. Okay, so these are all done. So we're going to go ahead, get them out of the skillet. Then we're going over to the counter, guys, and I'm going to slice one open so that you can see the inside and see the textures of the English muffins. Then we're coming back to the stove and we're going to toast them. Toast the insides of them. All right, yes, look at that, guys. Okay, all done, let's get to the counter. Okay guys, we are going to slice these open so that you guys can see the texture of the inside. Yes. Oh, and they are quite hot still. Yes, yes, yes. The heat retains from that cast iron skillet. So I have to be careful while slicing them, but I want you guys to see the inside texture right quick. And then we can head back over and get them all toasted up. Awesome. Okay, look at that, guys. Yes, perfect. Looks good, looks good. Okay, guys, let's head over to the stove and get these toasted. Okay, so I've got my cast iron skillet heating over here already, and I'm going to be adding about maybe a couple of tablespoons of butter, just regular butter, and I'm going to also add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the skillet. I always like to mix my butter and my olive oil. The butter will give it flavor and the olive oil makes it, or helps it I should say, crisp up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this butter and olive oil spread around together so it can mix well in the skillet. Then we will toast our muffins up. Okay, get our muffins in here cut side down and we just want to make sure they're toasted so they'll be nice and golden brown on the inside and a little crisp. You can eat them as is, you don't have to toast them, but I like to have mine all toasted up. Okay, we are about done here. Look at that, nice and toasted, yes. Make sure you know which top goes with which bottom so that when you have a sandwich they will equal up and you won't have one piece that's larger than the other because remember these were hand shaped. And there we have it guys. Yes, sausage, egg and cheese sandwich on an English muffin. Yes, and if you guys like these how to videos, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. I have the link in the description as well as right here. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you like English muffins? How did yours turn out? And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Tap that bell so that you'll always be notified. I sure am glad you guys always come to hang out and cook with me. I really do enjoy each and every one of you. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.